Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another grocery haul. This one is a little different. It is not my usual Walmart grocery haul. I actually headed up to Trader Joe's. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a Trader Joe's haul for you guys. Um, the closest Trader Joe's to me is like 35, 40 minutes away, so I don't go very often, but there were some things that I wanted to pick up. Um, I had something else to do over in that area. So what perfect reason then to stop on by. So I'm just gonna go through everything that I got. Some things I got for my mom and my um, Like I was saying, some things I got for my mom and my sister, but the rest is for me. So let's jump on in. Um, so I will put the points up on the screen for all these items, even if they aren't necessarily Weight Watchers friendly, just so you guys know. Um, the first thing I got is a staple. I love, love, love this. I'm pretty sure not Weight Watchers friendly, but this is the Mandarin Orange Chicken. I ended up getting uh, two packs of that, just so we can keep it on hand in the freezer. My husband loves this. The next thing I got, I've never tried this before, but I've heard really good things. It's the Chili Onion Crunch. And it says it's great. Um, drizzled over pasta or dipping bread in. I'm super excited about that. Especially now that I can have full wheat pasta without like it being a million points. That's gonna be so good on it. Um, I also got the mini chicken tacos. I think these might be Weight Watchers friendly. I could be wrong. Again, the points will be on the screen, but I've heard so many people talk about these and that they're super good. So I went ahead and picked those up. The next thing I got were turkey corn dogs. Um, I love corn dogs, as you know, from my other grocery hauls and these ones are turkey. So hopefully these are lower points than the other ones that I buy. If so, I'll be super excited about that. And then I got the Reduced Guilt Mac and Cheese. I've heard that this is super yummy, so I picked that up. The next thing that I got are these rice packets. I heard these are super simple and easy to make, so I got the brown rice one. As you know, brown rice is zero points on Weight Watchers, so these you just throw in the microwave, they're little pouches. Um, I think that it comes with, it comes with three 10 ounce package packages so this is super exciting super quick and easy which i love okay. and the last thing in this bag i got i've had this before i'll put the points up on the screen but it's butternut squash mac and cheese this is one of their seasonal items uh this was so good last year um it says it's two servings for the one container so i will let you know the points per cup Okay, so in this bag, I got some sprouted wheat sourdough bread for my husband. He wanted to try sprouted bread, so I went ahead and picked up some of that. I also got some spiced apple cider. I am a huge apple cider fan, so I've had this one before. It's pretty good, so I picked up a jar of that. You can have it hot or cold, which is awesome. Then I got these for my daughter. She really liked them last time. They're the PB&J bars. They're soft oat bars with a peanut butter and strawberry filling. All right, and then I had to pick these up. These are my favorite thing ever. Honestly, I need to keep these somewhere like super high up or locked away because I will just eat these to death, but I just couldn't pass them up. They're the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They're like little Reese cups, but um, dark chocolate. And then I got an Arabiata sauce, like a pasta sauce. It's spicy. And then let me get some of this out because there's little things here. All right, so I got the pumpkin JoJo's. If you don't know, JoJo's are like the Trader Joe's version of Oreos and they have all different kinds of flavors. Um, I've never tried these before. I don't know if they're new this year or not, but they are pumpkin flavored and I'm so excited to try these. So I will put the points here for you guys. Okay, and then my daughter, I always pick these up when I go to Trader Joe's. These are these little fruit strips here. Just got some different flavors. I got apple raspberry, apple blueberry, and I believe I got another one, apple wildberry. So these are just super yummy, organic little fruit strips. 
And then I finally got my hands on these. Um, I've been meaning to order these on Amazon because I did hear you can get these on Amazon, but they're the Barbell Protein Bars that everyone and their mom has been talking about on Instagram. They are five points per bar and they have 20 grams of protein, no added sugar at all, which is crazy. And I got the cookies and cream. This flavor is sold out on Amazon and it says it doesn't know when it's gonna be back. So that's crazy. Um, and then there's the caramel cashew. This one is available on Amazon. I'll leave it linked below. Um, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, but they were not too badly priced. They were under $2. Um, I had this one in the car and it is so good and chewy, like built bar who these are awesome. So definitely try these. So I got a couple of those. I actually got five, um, but I only have four left. So two of each flavor. All right. And one more bag. Okay. And the last few things. I got the maple streusel bread. I've heard so many good things about this. Even the checkout lady was like, this is so good. Definitely warm it up. It's amazing. So I got one loaf for myself and one loaf for my mom. I can't wait for that. And then I just got some bananas just because we needed them. And they canceled out of my Walmart grocery order, which is crazy. But I don't know Walmart can be out of bananas, but they are. So I picked some up from Trader Joe's. I got my favorite coconut aminos. This is like a soy sauce taste. Super good and low in points. I don't know, oopsies, the points on this at all, but I hear people talk about these burritos all the time. This one is a Salsa Verde Carnitas burrito. They're in the refrigerated section, so it doesn't come frozen. I'm super excited to try that out. And then for my sister, she requested the artichoke and jalapeno dip. I got that for her and then this just sounded super good I'm sure it's high in points this is a apricot cherry cranberry goat cheese looks so good I've had the like blueberry vanilla one that has like the little blueberry stuff on the outside um, but this one sounded super good so I figured I'd try that with some crackers my mom requested the unexpected cheddar cheese apparently this is something that like everyone talks about too from Trader Joe's all right this sounded amazing hopefully the points are okay on it um it's a salad dressing it's a spicy cashew butter dressing it says cashew butter lime juice ginger cilantro and red chili peppers um this is in the refrigerated section um too like right next to the green goddess dressing hopefully this is like very similar to those dressings that they put on the salads at um like hibachi and stuff like that the ginger dressings hopefully this is similar i'm super excited to try that out um and then i just got myself a little turmeric shot i love these little things they're pretty pricey but i love them so I picked up that one it is uh coconut water turmeric lemon juice and black pepper so it's gonna be spicy um and then seasoning i got the 21 seasoning i just recently ran out of this so perfect timing and then another guilty pleasure, I got the cookie butter. I was looking for the cinnamon bun spread, which is like the seasonal version. And it's supposedly so, so good, but I can never find it. I must be going too late in the year. Um, I think I need to head up there like in early September to try and snag some of that because it just flies off the shelf. But I got the cookie butter. Um, super, super excited about that with some toast. And then last two things, I got some vegetable fried rice. Oh, something else is hiding under there. Uh, chicken pot stickers. I love these. Um, I like the pork ones as well, but since I'm on Weight Watchers, chicken's normally lower points or zero. So I decided to pick up the chicken this time around. Hopefully the points are okay on these. And lastly, I got bean and rice burritos. These ones are kept frozen and I've had these before. Super yummy. Um, yeah, so there's two burritos in there. And that is everything. There were a couple things on my list, like I said, that I could not find that were seasonal items, like the um, pumpkin gnocchi, the cinnamon spread, um, some cinnamon, I think it was cinnamon bun cookies. Couldn't find those. Um, 
just a few odds and ends like that but yeah i'm super excited with everything that i was able to get my hands on let me know what your favorite trader joe's items are below in the comments um for that i'll be up there again in a couple weeks so I'll, I'll probably head back in and get some more things so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure you like this video if you liked it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos from me bye guys